Peace and love, family. It's your girl, Six the Goddess. And keep in mind, I'm a goddess and I'm sensitive about my shift. I hope y'all are doing well. I am doing very well. I have two clips that I want to show you of women who decided to react to a clip of mine that has been going around. And this video today, we are going to talk about Black women be capping and Black women don't do anything unless it's for a man and in order to gain control of a man. Okay. And we're going to break that down. And before I show you all the clips, because this is just outrageous, ladies, check out today's makeup look. Okay. I know you're thinking, you know, it's slapping, right? It is. It's slapping. I did this makeup look live on my Patreon. If you're not in my Patreon, what are you doing? Okay, I have a women's only Patreon where you have a community of other women who are like-minded and solution-oriented. Nothing like these women we're about to see in these clips. Women that want real solutions. We have women from all the different walks of life, creeds, tax brackets, a lot of great advice, support. We have get-togethers. We have movie nights. Um, they have a lot of exclusive video content, podcast content. They get in there. We have a group chat. It is just outstanding. Okay. It's where you want to be. It's very affordable. It's patreon.com slash six the goddess. It will be in description box. And for, uh, I have another Patreon where everyone is invited. For those of you leaving comments like six, you don't post content no more where you've been. You need to join my six at six Patreon where you enjoy a weekly live interactive show with me. I'm still producing plenty of content. It's just behind a paywall because I don't got time for YouTube trolls and weirdos whatsoever. If you want the content, come get it. Okay. So if you respect me as a content creator, if you enjoy my content, you'll go ahead and pull out them six to 10 bucks to get the content. I mean, come on. Again, I will have that information in the description. Now, I'm not going to do too much talking. I'm just going to show the clip. And then we're going to we're going to discuss after that. But uh, <laughs> it's a lot going on here. So I just am letting y'all know now. <laughs> When a man isn't financially confident, he tends to go. Now, please, I'm so sorry, y'all, to disturb you with this gopher on screen. OK, OK, I, I hate I have to put this man, this male on screen. And I, I hate that y'all have to see this sloth. So please just try to ignore the gopher and just we're focusing on the women's reaction to it. Okay. Don't mind the squirrel for bigger women. If I'm a guy who's got a jail and needs somewhere to stay, I'm not going to go for a woman who works out five days a week. I'm going to go for the bigger girl. It's more of a chance that she'll be willing to compromise because deep down inside, she feels like maybe she has to compensate. We took her man probably. Not you. Okay. I have to stop it already. I have to stop it already. If one more big girl says that the reason why I do not condone being fat and unhealthy because a big girl stole my man. I just don't know what I'm going to do. You looking like that, trying to speak for us. I have never. Wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Now, sis, what you mean looking like that? What, what exactly did you mean by, oh, I know you ain't talking looking like that. Looking like what? Okay. See, this is how I know y'all foolish. This is how I know y'all just desperate to just be right. You're just desperate to not have to have any discipline because y'all just go saying stuff that sounds outrageous. I know she ain't talking looking like that. You just discredited everything else she was about to say, babe. I know you ain't looking like that. Talk about me looking like that. Okay, sus. Okay, because you give me very much so rhinoceros. Okay, you give me big rhino energy. You're huge. All right. So all that, oh, I don't know what she talking about looking like that, sweetie. I trust me on this. You don't want to go there. Okay. The last person that I roasted cried and threatened to sue me. Okay. So please don't go there, sweetie. You want to debate the talking points? We can do that. <laughs> now, if you want to go there with the looking like that, ooh, sus, we can 
but I really, I'm trying to change my life. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So anyway, y'all, I just had to, you know, a little bit confused. What does this mean? Anyway, she's about to prove my entire point with the rest of what she's about to say. So just, you know, sit tight. Never settled. I've dated NFL stars. I've dated rappers. Yeah, There's men out there that actually like us mm -hmm. without having some motive behind it. I like my girl's juicy. I make six figures and I'm gonna help her pay her bills. Have We're you ever found that men or women fetishize you because of your size? Yep. Guys who have never dated a plus size girl before. Why are you starting now? I don't want to be your guinea pig. Like, well, let me try this out. And then I'm back to what I usually like. I don't like to be called BBW, but there's a lot of girls that do. For me, you fetishizing me because you type BBW in X videos. I can usually tell this man just want me for sex he about to say i'm thick as hell like cold grits Are you like, like thick like cold grits bitch you thick like cement okay this ain't thick y'all kill me with the oh girl you thick like cold grits no you give me more so than big old cement trucks going round and round that's more so you not a little tiny cup of cold grits baby it's giving cementra Okay, cold you grit. are you who wanted to have sex. Yeah, <laughs> cold grits, girl. <laughs> when a man. Anyway, let me get this gopher off my screen. Now, that's the first clip. There's another one. Y'all just, y'all know I'm a cook, right? I know y'all watching them clips like, oh, six is about to cook these heifers. You'd be correct. <laughs> okay, you'd be correct that I definitely am. Now, here goes the next clip where we're going to show proof. Once again, that black women don't do anything unless it is for a man. Okay. Uh oh. Wife. I've never seen it. I when I, I never thought we would get a black pearl. Um, but okay, so for you, let me let me just baby, for you to refer to me as a black pearl. Sweetie, I am not a Neanderthal Sasquatch, okay? I don't got big old linebacker shoulders talk about you're a whale. That is not me. I don't do none of that, okay? I'm a woman who eats modestly. I'm a woman who don't shove food down my throat. I'm a woman that has a very healthy relationship with food and simply tries to teach my sister to do the same. I am not a big volleyball playing Sasquatch linebacker caucasoid that doesn't know basic hygiene or how to do my hair or makeup. So once again, you all continue to discredit yourself by these lame lines that literally don't even apply to me. You already lost. Okay. All that, all them lame little shots here and there. Y'all do all that. And then I'm still right. But that's all right. We're going to break that down. Let me, I'm cooking too early. This is a slow cook. Let me just let y'all finish this. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and flame. But big women, we be out here minding our own business. And always somebody got to throw us into the conversation. Um, whoever took her man, please give him back. But y'all, do y'all do y'all see what I go through? Do you see how basic these bitches are? I mean, I, we were talking in the Patreon. I said, I'm going to tell y'all ladies like this. Eight out of ten women are basic bitches. Eight out of ten. They all swear they're a vibe. They all swear they're a good person. Okay? They all swear that they deserve this and that, but they don't. You see how they all, like, what do y'all all have the same basic bitch convention so that y'all can go formulate the same talking points y'all going to repeat over and over? And you still, and, and, and somehow your solution to all this is that a man left me for a woman that looked like you. That's the best you had. Okay. Eight out of 10 women are basic bitches. And if both of these basic hoes don't show y'all this, I don't know what will. Okay. Y'all have a basic bitch handbook at this point. We want to talk about men don't choose fat women, blah, 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 blah. They're not exactly being faithful to the skin women they choose either. <laughs> for example, her man's had a whole baby with somebody else. <laughs> She was cheated on by her ex how many times? <laughs> she got played in the face by a sex addict. Crazy. Their whole scandal was wild recently. <laughs> Sister girl wrote a whole album based off of her being cheated on. 
Her latest song, Flowers, is quite literally a dig at Liam Hemsworth for messing around on her. Leave us big girls out the conversation. Men go men regardless of body size. Leave us alone. Okay. Now I'm going to read you all her caption. All right, I'm going to read, I'm going to read the caption. Y'all just sit tight, okay? Just sit tight. I'm going to break all this down. Let me read the caption for y'all, okay? I'm going to show you why this is so problematic, and I'm going to show you why the Black sisterhood will keep you stagnant and not succeeding in life. Her caption says, happy Father's Day. I know my fat A has no problems, and I know so many bigger women than me who have no problems bagging a man. Now, understand, right in the comments, what y'all think she mean when she say bagging a man? And we all know what she mean. That means intimacy. It means intercourse. And we still have women that think that because a man has intercourse with them, that he prefers her or that he's happy with her or that he chose that. We still, in 2023, have women that think that a man being intimate with them means she bagged him. We still have women that think a man being intimate with them means anything significant. Still. Wow. Wow. She goes on to say, I can only speak for myself and I have no issues getting a man. I am single and enjoying that. I have been proposed to by a few men this year. She is lying her ass off. This is a lie. She's saying that she has multiple proposals with the ring emoji, emoji this year by a few men, meaning more than two. This year, it's only August. We only eight months into the year. And you mean to tell me that in eight months, at least three men have proposed marriage to you? Homeless men, maybe, if you're even telling the truth. Where are these men? Bring them forth. Y'all lie so much, you lie to yourself, you start to believe it. It's the delusion for me. I am taking my time to make sure when I am ready to give it all, he will be the right one. So all this body shaming people do is just is just lips flapping. Maybe had she been flapping her lips on that eggplant, just maybe she wouldn't have lost her dude to a big girl. Sweetie. You never, ever have to worry about my mouth. You never, ever have to worry about whether my mouth is going to keep keep a man around or not. I assure you, I am great in that department. I'm doing just fine. I don't need you worried about what I do with these lips. I know exactly what I'm doing. So you worried about the wrong thing once again. Worry about that fat crushing your lungs. Worry about that fat surrounding your spleen as we speak. Worry about the years being shaved off your life with every word you type. Matter of fact, be worried about you typing this caption being the most exercise you've had in years. That's the bigger things you have to worry about. No pun intended. Then... This is the real irony, okay? This is when she really just tops off the basic bitchology. And after all that, she proceeds to say, we should be uplifting each other just as much as the men. And not all men cheat. So we have to look at the individual. Not all women cheat. But people, places, people in categories. I, you know, she wrote this when she was mad because of all the typos. I just know once I get married, my dude won't have no time to cheat because I'll be cooking his meals, rubbing his feet and going 12 rounds or till TKO. There won't be no time to cheat and he going to love my fat A. So less judgment and more love. 
Let's stop looking at someone and assuming anything. I know my fat A is the biggest I've ever been. And I'm the healthiest I've ever been. I am not smoking or drinking. I'm off 13 meds. That was a life sentence, I was told. I still have some healing to do, but I am bigger and better now than when I was skinnier, eating shit, smoking, drinking, and a bunch of meds. Let's stay in our own lanes and do the inner work. Have a beautiful day today. So this is very interesting, all right? Let me tell you the number one rule of the feminine. And I talk about this in my Patreon all the time with the ladies. The number one rule in the feminine is that you don't control anything. The most you can do is influence an environment, but you have no control, okay? You can persuade, you can attempt to persuade, you can attempt to influence, but you don't have any control. So since as a woman, we've been lied to that we have control that we don't have, the most important part in your womanhood and your femininity is alignment, aligning yourself with what you say you want. Okay, women, we can't force and force our way into what we want, but we can be honest with ourselves and say, okay, if this is what I want, what do I need to do to align myself with it? Okay, that's what it's all about. It's very interesting to me how you know black women complain, we're so unprotected. Oh my God, we're struggling. Oh my God, we're this and that. And someone says to you, your sister that you say y'all should be uplifting, your sister says, you know what, listen, we cannot expect people to give us more than what we give ourselves. When our representative is being 300 pounds eating chicken on TikTok, talking about, hey, y'all, in a bonnet, we're screwed. Life does not work this way. I, the problem with black women, the number one way, reason of why black women are not going to ever get better or do better. It's because we perceive having to earn something as someone telling us we don't deserve it. We interpret having to earn something as that means you're being mean to us. And since we are one of the only groups of women who refuse to compete in a healthy way, who refuses to understand that, yes, you're going to need some discipline. Yes, there are expectations of you. We are the only race of women who interpret expectations as hatred. And this is why we won't succeed. This is why we are in perpetual, continuous cycles of complaining about the same things over and over. So it's so interesting to me when it's like, hey, Black women, if you don't like the way that things are going for you, the first step that we should take is to change our representation. Okay. You have ways that you've been preventing, presenting yourself that were not healthy. It's time to do the work to alter your representation for the greater good of yourself and your sisters. By now, we realize you can't sit there stanking, saying, mind your business. It's not your business if I want to take a shower or not. Well, sweetie, we got to smell you, baby. If you have made our representative being fat, angry, and a bonnet eating on the Internet, that's what people see when they look at all of us. So when you have a sister that say, hey, I'm, I'm tired of complaining, you know, why don't we go ahead and align ourselves with what we say we want? I met with you saying that it's because you exercise, you deserve more than me. What a basic bitch response. Why is it that when your sister tell you, hey, you eat too much, sis, you're not thick, you ain't big bone, you fat. And the reason why you fat is because you eat too much. Put down the food. Stop looking at, I got to eat all the food on my plate. And so when someone says, you need to align yourself, does that mean that if you're skinny, that you're healthy? No. What it means is if you're, a, if you're not obese, it means you at least are aligned and you have the potential for health. Whereas when you're obese, you 100% guaranteed are not healthy. There is no way to be obese and be healthy. Not one way. If you're obese, you are guaranteed to not be healthy. Okay. This girl, these girls talking about, oh, NFL players, fly me out. You're subconsciously admitting that men definitely fetishize you when it comes to the whole BBW thing. You're admitting it. 
who cares because some men had intercourse some men. so why is it that when we bring up hey the first step is we probably should show more respect for ourselves and stop walking around humongous that should probably be our first step let's make sure that people look at us and tell this is women that care about themselves this is women that put effort into themselves people will normally match the effort that you put into yourself how does someone say that to you as a black woman and your response is but a man is going to still cheat What is this cap that happened and women talk about everything I do? I don't do it because of a man. That's the biggest lie ever told. And we were talking about this in the Patreon. That whole decenter man is bullshit. You are wired as a woman to help a man. You are wired as a woman to have a man be the center of your life. That's how you're wired. And that's why the minute we say stop eating so you don't be so big, your first mind is why? Because it will not guarantee me a result from a man. So if we know in our nature as women, we're designed to want to please men. We're designed to support and help men. We don't decenter men. What, what should we do instead? Work on understanding them. Don't decenter them because you can't. Decentering men is like us. All y'all sucking me. All of y'all. So decentering men is impossible. Don't decenter them. How about we go ahead and respect the way they think? How about we listen to them for once? How about we stop trying to force the way we think they should be and accept them for what they've been telling us for God knows how long. Don't decenter them. Stop going against them. Stop arguing with them about who they are and what they want. You don't want nobody arguing with you about what you want because y'all hoes can't wait until y'all have no problem with it to know what y'all want and what you expect. And the reason why when you tell black women to stop eating and that they need to lose weight, the reason why their first response is, oh, where y'all love that? A man still going to cheat is because majority of black women who are fat are fat because of a man. That's why when somebody even mentions for you to stop eating, you just write these long paragraphs like, you, like I'm your therapist on a couch. Yeah, and I've been... And I've I've had medical proposals and you know I've been working on myself and I stopped smoking and drinking. Well, I don't care about. It. I don't want to hear your goddamn life story. I could care less about that, baby. Got about my own problem. The reason why black women are so sensitive to when you bring up their weight is because the weight is connected to a man. A man that either abused you, neglected you, or abandoned you. And when you don't get the adoration, attention from the man. You get it from the food. You started eating and got big to make yourself unappealing because you felt as though that trauma happened to you because you got a man's attention. So now subconsciously, the food becomes your replacement for the man. I'll just eat to feel content. I'll just eat and I'll just eat and get big. So I'm not appealing. That way I don't have to worry about being attacked again. And instead of black women saying, you know what, we probably shouldn't spend time justifying why we should be allowed to be big. We probably should not spend so much time shaming men for not still wanting us regardless of our size. How about instead of doing that, maybe we should just lose weight. Yeah, she's right. You know, nothing in life is guaranteed. You could go get in a car, putting on a seatbelt don't mean you. Black women might as well say, well, I ain't putting on no seatbelt because I could still get into an accident and get hurt. Life is about giving yourself the best chance at something. Okay? If you really want to start decentering men with all that BS, start with when somebody talks about something that is factual in regards to what is best and healthiest for you physically, spiritually, through your representative, all that. How about you stop having your mind, the first thing go to, if I do this, will I be able to control the men? This is why so many black, people, black women are unhappy. Because unless it guarantees a result, unless it guarantees control on your behalf, you don't want it. Because you don't have any faith in yourself that you can succeed. You know you're going to fail. What a defeatist attitude. And this is why I tell my girls, stay away from women like you. You've given up. 
you're defeated. You're saying, I'm not even going to try. If I get skinny, will the man stop cheating? Well, if I get skinny and I don't find a faithful six foot five, fine, rich man with an aged penis, then I'm not going to worry about losing the weight then. What a miserable life to live where you don't do what's best for yourself because you didn't get a result from another person. I hate that for you. I really hate that for you, sis. Okay, that ain't it right there. All right. Those tired talking points of a big girl must have come in. If she would have been using them lips, a big man, all that. Y'all need to stop that. Okay? If you say you want to be protected, respected, you want to be stable. The first place is start with the way you look, period. The way you look is 80% of your value as a woman in any environment you're in, period. You can keep fighting that and be exhausted. Okay. You can keep living in your masculine energy, trying to control, control, fight, fight, fight. Or you can be in control of the only thing you are in control of, which is yourself. Saying being skinny does not guarantee me to get married to a tall, fine millionaire. So I'm going to stay big is a defeated attitude. It's you've given up. Whereas saying, let me at least try my best to present myself as a woman who puts energy into herself, puts time into herself. Let me at least align myself so that if I do have those qualities, I'm at least up as an option. It's at least an option for me to get what I say I want. But the fact that every time without fail, you mention a black woman self-improving, she don't do it unless it guarantees her a response from a man, shows the lack of self-worth and the lack of self-love in black women. And your lack of self-worth and lack of self-love shows. And that's why you're underprivileged underpaid, underappreciated, and underprotected, and always will be. What's the solution? Tribalism. Tribalism is a solution. It's going to be important now more than ever for women to get away and stay away from women like that who are trying to drag you to hell with them. They have no solutions. They don't challenge themselves, and they interpret performing any kind of discipline as it meaning that someone dislikes them. Okay? separation is the only way get away from them women they are a poison healthy women going to do what they need to do regardless they don't do what they need to do only if it guarantees a result from someone else okay stay away from women like that stay away from the fake sisterhood y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see y'all on the next one